I know where you're at now. Look what my mom got. There was a couple things that I didn't mention that I meant to in this last week's uncut video where I was talking about the reptile recession. I'm not doing the video today. Today is just not the day. Oh, ha. Top of the more defensive family. I smell a rat. I smell a rat. I remember if you remember in the last videos I said something like... It's alive and you want it. Several times I've... That's happened and then I come back the next morning and she just leaves it. Why? Why? <sighs> just... I, I don't know. Why? Why, why, why? It's always interesting when the first thing I speak is into a camera in the morning. It's... Oh, I got a lot to do today. <laughs> I, that sounded like I was complaining. I'm, I'm not complaining about having things to do, but it's just very, very busy. We got Bible study in a couple minutes here. It's five in the morning, 5.36. And uh, I just, I got a road, a long road ahead of me. Got about five or 600 miles to drive today. Probably a little more. And it's, uh, it's supposed to be raining all day, which means I'm going to pair up a bunch of snakes here before I leave. And apparently I worked out so hard yesterday that my neck is so sore that when I swallowed water this morning, it hurt. Not because I have a sore throat from sickness, but like it was literally physic muscularly sore to swallow that first water. Never had that happen before. Leave a comment down below if that's ever happened to you. Oh, good word this morning. Good word, good word, good word, good word. All right, let's go. I'm tired. Not raining yet. Good thing too, because I gotta go pick up the rental car still here in Tascadero, and I'm gonna do that on my one wheel. I've been renting vehicles still to drive up on my drives because uh, we still only have one car. As I mentioned in the last video, we're soon gonna be getting the second vehicle, which I'm really stoked about. Even when we do that, I think I'm still probably gonna rent a car for these long drives because you know less wear and tear on the vehicle, and it's it's just it's nice. I don't know. I, I like it. It seems like it would make sense. I mean, would you do that? Is there anybody out there that when you're doing some kind of long drive or something or pu putting a lot of miles on something, do you, do you rent a vehicle even though you have one that you could potentially drive? I'm just curious what you guys do out there. Here's something I want to share with you real quick because I pulled up. I got this email from Taylor Lawrence at Red Moon Royals just giving me a little update on, I'll put them right here on the screen, on some snakes that she got from us earlier this year. And I just love that, man. I, I, I get them a lot. I don't share it with you guys necessarily, but I, I always get updates from people, snakes that they got from us. And I just love getting those updates, man. It's just, I, I love it so much. Thank you, Taylor, for sending those. Good morning, Scrimmies. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, dog. <laughs> Where were you? I win. <laughs> I farted on me. Father, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thank you for this day. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, thank you for this day. Please bless us as we work, study, and play. Please bless us as we work, study, and play. No need to run the one wheel when I can catch a ride to school with the kiddos. Bye, kiddos. Bye, Love you guys. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. See you guys soon. Bye. 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 Service agent, he uh, just went to do a drop off, but he drives one, so I was gonna have him kind of walk through. He loves it. This car is sweet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. I had to do that. Uh, I was going to get some cool drone shots of 
flying this incredible vehicle, flying is the right action. I brought my drone, but I didn't bring uh, the battery. Oops. And don't get me wrong, these clouds are beautiful, but I was really expecting some rain out here. Oh, well, it's raining now. I thought I was in the wrong place for half a second. Pulled up in this uh, this gate, so this is new. This is new. This, I didn't used to be able to get in here this way before. Oh my gosh, get my camera all wet. It's the life we live. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hi. Hi. Oh God. <laughs> I'm literally chilling. Yeah, I'm here at Freedom Breeder. You, you can't see your desk right now. Don't worry about your desk. because We're going to be doing a video here with this Jerrica. I don't know if you guys have met Jerrica. Of course you've met Jerrica. What am I talking about? <laughs> this is Jerrica. Hi, everyone. She's Julie's dog. They're back. They're back. Well, well, I'm back right now. My you're, mom's not here. You're back. We're going we're gonna to do a video here at Freedom Breeder with Jerrica and her mom, Julie, and... If you guys have been watching the Freedom Breeder channel recently, then you know they came on and did some snake stuff. And I didn't really give them much warning. I just showed up one day just like I did just now threw the camera in their face yeah. like, you're doing this. <laughs> so this time I'm gonna, we're going to go on the channel. We're going to do a little more intro about who they actually are to the company. So that's, that's kind of one of the th videos we're doing here today. So tune into that coming up this week on the Freedom Breeder channel. And um, we're just waiting for Julie to get back. She's getting her eyelashes lashes. Lashes done because she knew she's going to be okay. I, I gave her prep time <laughs> to get herself ready. Not that she, she woke up this morning and said that she wasn't doing the video. But <laughs> what? <laughs> she woke up and said, I'm not doing the video today. Today is just not the day. And so. Yeah. Well, today is the day because I'm here. Whew. All right, we got some good video done today. And uh, not done yet, though. Like, it is it's not like downpouring right now, but it's, it's, it's raining. It's raining. This is nice. All right, let's go. I gotta talk to you guys about something. All right, I'm gonna not talk to the camera and drive in the rain. I'm gonna be responsible and just talk before I start actually driving, even though I'm kind of running behind on time. It's all right. I'm just talk here now. Um, oh, I love the sound of rain, man. There was a couple things that I didn't mention that I meant to in this last week's uncut video where I was talking about the reptile recession and just the recession in general and where it's happening. And, and one of the things, and somebody reminded me in a comment, thank you for doing that, was that it, it, it could be cool to see, I don't know, not cool to see, but it, as the idea of reptiles as a business or the, there's not as much money as it seems in snakes because of this recession, um, folks that are not really in love with reptiles will maybe fall away and that won't be a bad thing. Um, I, I agree with that sentiment and I got my microphone too loud. Never mind, it was perfect. So th that's, uh, that's the one thing I forgot to mention is that it, it could be a good thing as far as that goes to drive away the people that are looking, were looking to just make money really quick with it and that was the sole purpose. Because there's so many better ways to make money and not use, and I don't know, there's, there's all kind, there's, that's a whole separate video maybe, but that's one cool side effect I could see. The other thing I want to talk about, of course, is, uh, where I'm at and how I feel about the un upcoming recession and why I have such great peace with it and wherever it heads, I'm not worried. I have zero worry because of faith in God. And I didn't have that before. I used to worry about everything. I, I'd be, you know, we, we've not been super financially stable over the course of time in this last 10 years. Um, always kind of just barely making it just enough to kind of get by and there was a lot of stress around that and I'm we're still in a spot where it's like we're not you know like way above we finally got out of debt which is great but it's like got out of debt just in time for this recession to hit and potentially have to go back in maybe but I'm not worried about it at all and it's because of it's because of faith in God it's this peace that that God's bring that God brings and before I started a relationship with Jesus I didn't have this I didn't have this I I, I was constantly worried about things and constantly in my head just you know wondering what's going to happen what's going to happen and now that I know that I can just lean into Jesus and lean into God it's just a great peace and I would encourage anybody who hasn't experienced this before to to look into it if you have worries if you're if you have anxiety if you're stressed out if you're in that those spaces um, that's something that God takes away I promise, uh, 
many people will testify to this. I heard a lady testifying in church the other day about she just was diagnosed recently with MLS, or is it ALS? It was not good, whatever it is. It's not a pleasant uh, disease. And, but she, she struggled to speak it, but just said that she was at such peace because that's what God brings. No matter what you're going through, no matter what things might look like on the horizon, you know that God has everything under control. And it's beautiful to be able to realize that. It's beautiful to have that knowledge that he imparts upon you. Um, I just wanted to encourage you guys with that. That's, that's really, it was really on my heart to share that with you guys. So there, I've shared it. And do with it what you will. Hopefully what that will you do is to start more of a conversation with me about it or somebody, somebody about it and um, see what that relationship has to offer you in your life. Because I've seen nothing but good come from it this past year and I just, I would love to see more and more people come to the Lord. Plain and simple. All right, let's go. I'm here at Reptile Mania now, so I just drove here to Livermore. This is uh, my hometown, Livermore, and my friends Cindy and Jeff Leverett have opened a shop here, Reptile Mania. You've been to any California reptile shows, you've probably run into Cindy and Jeff at the Reptile Mania booth. But this is their shop here, and they've got all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, there's... What is that? Oh, my goodness. They've got a lot of cool animals here. So, Livermore, California. Reptile Mania, um, come check out the shop and and pop in here. And Jesse's gonna come here and do a Freedom Breeder video and do like a kind of in-depth one. I'm just popping in real quick, just say hi. But um, come just after Christmas, you will see a video from Freedom Breeder doing a kind of in-depth tour of the shop and checking out the animals and stuff. And uh, you look forward to that as a little late Christmas gift. How about that? Does that sound good, Cindy? That sounds great. Just in case you decide this Christmas to like, you know, cut it off or Turn something. it green. <laughs> I just want to make sure it stays true to blue. True blue. We don't want to lose that true blue. <laughs> I know where you're at now. Look what my mom got. Oh, jeez. I need a, I need a different stand. Look at that. That's, uh, she's always thinking about getting stuff for when the U.S. auctions happen. And she saw, found this little gem. And it's pretty cool looking. And if you want to potentially win this thing, you gotta come to the U.S. Arc auction at the uh, January Pomona Reptile Super Show on the 7th and 8th. And thanks, Mom. You're welcome. And Happy he... to support you guys in everything you do. Everything you do. Everything you do. <laughs> any, any nuggets of wisdom? <laughs> nuggets of wisdom? Hmm, gosh. Um, take care of yourself, take care of each other. How's that? Aloha. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, don't don't forget to uh, visit the uh, channel sponsors in the links below. Freedom Breeder, of course, and Morph Market. And the links are down below. And we appreciate it. Thank you guys. Take and uh, oh, you said it for me. Thanks. Ah. That was very wise. <laughs> we hear it over and over again. Okay. <laughs>